What's going on, Team Fresh? Welcome back to a new video. Today, we're playing American Truck Simulator once again. And today, I'm really excited about today's video because, well, it is going to be extremely, extremely difficult and challenging and dangerous all at once. But let me just show you really quickly. Um, this is the route I've been wanting to take for such a long time now. Uh, we're going to be leaving Styx Valley. And we're going to be going to this place called La Herandura, something like that. But basically, uh, this section of the map, the road, is really deadly. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. It's like insane. <laughs> it's so crazy. I don't know if we survive today. I think this part here is somewhat okay. But towards the end, or is the second half of this journey, it's going to get wild. So anyway... Let's go ahead and get started here. Oh, man. I'm really excited for today's episode. If you couldn't tell already. All right. Initially, this was going to be a nighttime thing, but I'm like, no. We have to be able to see what's going on. Oh, dude. Uh, blind corner over here. And traffic flies out here. I don't understand. We got a cowboy up ahead. Uh, we are transporting uh, a super light cargo. I was actually surprised. These are just plows right here. And they weigh about 7,000 pounds. So, nothing at all. So, the cargo is fine. And even if we end up dumping the, the, the trailer, it's going to be just fine. <laughs> But, um, yeah, this job pays us $2,700 if we don't die today. <laughs> it's going to be really, really crazy. Dude, these roads here are nuts. Really, really nuts. Like, look at this. The trailer just fitting in. We're golden. Oh. Oh, I think that trailer may have hit the tree a little bit. It's fine. Anyway, we are driving this Peterbilt 389. And uh, this truck is really nice. It's got 500 horsepower and an 18-speed transmission. I don't see myself getting up to 18 speeds today. Not at all. In fact, maybe 10 gears is probably all we need today at most. I gotta take this. Oh, hello car. Oh my gosh, bro. I think we just made that. Wow. I gotta be taking like really wide turns today. Well, any day we are on this map really. Because the trailer is kind of long. I could have transported the plows using like uh i don't know a transit van or something i don't know why they gave me like such a crazy big truck with a humongous trailer too and these roads are insanely insanely uh tight see how the trailer is poking out it's 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 crazy it is crazy all right, I think we have one of the bridges coming up, which I actually do like this one quite a bit. We have a collapsed bridge right there. We have taken part of this route before. Um, and then we have this bridge in front of us. I don't think you can fit two vehicles on here. So, yeah. Okay, we're good. Now, once we get to like the craziest part of this whole journey, the second part of uh, this uh, trip, I'm gonna try and do as much of a like a third-person camera view for you guys as possible. But in the meantime, this kind of this view definitely helps me drive somewhat 
straight, somewhat reasonable. Oh, I like this area too. Uh, this is like the waterfall. Oh no, it's not the one. But I think that's coming up too, where you kind of drive through the waterfall. Um, but, dude, once we get to the second part of this trip, you guys will be like, oh my gosh. And it's literally not possible to do at night. Like, if you were to try and do this at nighttime, that would not work. That would not work at all. But look at the views, guys. The views here are insane. I wanted to, like, turn off traffic for today. Just because it gets a little unrealistic at times. But then I'm like, you know what? No. Let's just keep the traffic, keep everything. You know, and uh, it'll be it'll be fine. We'll work around people. We'll drive around them, it's gonna be fine. Oh, this is where you drive through the waterfall. Right here. How cool is that? Watch my truck get washed away. All right, this is gonna be, uh, well, we have six hours left to go. And we should arrive at our destination a little before four o'clock. If we don't die. <laughs> I have to keep stressing it because today's journey is extremely dangerous. Extremely. I think we have probably piling up traffic behind us. Yeah, there's at least one vehicle behind me that I can see in the mirror. But that's what happens. AI, they fly on this road as if like there's no speed limit. The speed limit is 50 miles an hour. Like, I don't know if I can even do 50 miles an hour with the truck on here. Maybe if I had like a Ferrari sports car, I'd be able to do it. Oh, okay. We gotta take this. We gotta take this right over here. Oh, nobody needed the stop sign here. I thought I was gonna swing wide just fine, but nope. <laughs> I don't need stop signs here. They really don't. Let's go. We've taken this part as well. I remember taking this right before. And I think this road is going to become a dirt road. And instead of taking the left where we uh, we went towards that, that big city area on top of the hill, top of this mountain, we're gonna go straight. So this is gonna be a slightly different route. I know if you guys watched the previous episode, and you guys are recognizing some of these landmarks, we're not going the same way, trust me. Once we get to, ooh, hello buddy. Hello, what's up? See you later. We have a pretty nice air horn for today. Look at this, we are doing 35 miles an hour, 36, flying, certainly feels that way, I actually it went up to uh, 12th gear, I think there's going to be a straightaway, okay here we go, we got a little rough road here, and I think we're going to have to drive through the mud in just a little bit, and I want to see if I can like open it up too like really push it see if we can hit 50 miles an hour oh hello buddy there's no cops in, on, on this map as far as I can tell so I think speeding is fine oh I think there's a bridge that's coming up yeah some bridges on here are Trailer damage, okay, great. I did clip something. 
It's okay. It's inevitable. This is Team Fresh towing. Alright. This is really tight over here. Hopefully nobody's coming. Might take a little bit of damage here as well. Bumped into it a little bit, but we're fine. Like I said, the cargo is not very valuable. And the job is not even paying me a lot of money today. So... We can be as reckless as we want to be. Oh my gosh, bro. Look at this. You go a little right and you're done. You're literally done. I got kind of, kind of want to see what, it, what would happen if I drove to the right. But at the same time, I don't. All right, let's open it up right here. Oh my gosh. So risky. If we had like a long straightaway, I would definitely just floor it and see how fast we can go. But yeah, I remember this bridge here. Sketchy. Really sketchy. Whew. Oh, okay. So this is where. Instead of going straight, we have to take this left. This is where this is a little bit different here. Okay. All right, guys. So brace yourselves. This is... Oh, my gosh. Look at how much traffic we have behind us. Wow. Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> Did you guys see that truck? What is he doing over here? Anyway, this is going to be insane. I'm gonna try and stay in uh, like third person view for you guys as much as I can. I know you guys do enjoy that. Oh my gosh, bro. This is what I was telling you guys about. Right now, this is like not bad, but things are gonna get wild really quick and hopefully there's not traffic here yeah nobody's following me dude the views here are insane I feel like it's a two person job like one person to look around like rotate the camera and the other person is to like drive like downshift and stuff go 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 I think we're good. Whoever wanted these stupid plows, shame on you. I am risking my life over here. Dude, this is like the most scenic route that you can probably take in this game. Oh gosh, all right, I gotta take this wide. I'm like flying. This is fine. Some parts of this journey are not going to be this easy. You know? Some parts of this journey are going to be kind of crazy. Like there's one bridge that is like absolutely insane. I'm gonna be uh, a little bit quiet here just because I need to kind of concentrate. There's a lot going on here, so enjoy the journey. Well, <laughs> enjoy the journey, and hopefully, we don't die out here.
I think staying in seventh gear works for the majority of this route. It's because I don't want to get too much speed and fly off the cliff here. And the engine braking is perfect as well, kind of slows me down when I need it to. Terrain is kind of changing over here. Interesting. I think we're fine now. Yeah, there's literally no traffic out here. Wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Guys. Road work ahead. Yeah. I don't know if I should do this in... I don't even know if this is possible, to be honest with you. Look at what's ahead of us. I mean, obviously we're gonna try this, but... Gosh, we have a crazy long trailer. Whew. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking fourth gear, we're gonna go very slow here. Alright, wish me luck. Go, go, go. Alright. Uh, the trailer, I don't know. Would it fit? Oh, it's like coming off a little bit, but I think we might be okay here. Hey, buddy. Oh, gosh. Wow. That's what I'm telling you guys. We just made that. Watch out, buddy. Watch out. He's fine. Wow. That was kind of intense, okay? That was the first test. And road work. That was the first test. There is more. This um, this journey is definitely gonna test me and my abilities to drive this truck. Gosh, I'm really happy there's no traffic out here because I don't know what I would have done. Okay, we got an abandoned building conveniently placed, so I can't really go out too, too wide. Nah, that's fine. It is fine. Oh, well, look at that. There's an actual bridge. Like a nice bridge that's not destroyed. That's not super narrow. I will gladly take this bridge. We have about two hours left to go. Dude, this is very narrow, actually. Wish me luck going through here. Uh, would this fit? Uh, just barely. Yeah, this is a one truck kind of bridge. We had traffic going the other way. No way. Let's keep it going. This will be... This is fine, right? This is fine. Oh, this is perfect. Alright. Let's keep it going. This one is really... Really tight corner here. 
come on, come on, come on. I think we got this. Yep. Perfect. This is crazy. That so, I think we only discovered about maybe 30% of this whole custom map. So there's a lot more to go. There, there are a lot more roads to discover on here. A lot more crazy bridges, and uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to see more. Oh gosh, hold up, hold up, wait a second, wait a second, not again, not again, oh my gosh, I am not looking forward to this one here, um, wow, yeah, so there's road closed, this guy is just like kicking rocks literally, and um, we can't go this way. We have to take this bridge that they just put up probably two hours ago. All right. Um, can I take this a little bit wider? I'm thinking we can. I think we should. All right. Um, wish me luck. Excuse me, buddy. Go away. Guys, I am really worried about the trailer. I just don't know if it's going to make it. Oh, gosh. Come on, come on, come on. The trailer is a little off, but I think we might be good here. Come on, don't fall on me. Not right now. Oh my gosh, bro. So apparently we've been doing a lot of burnout, so I need to lock our differential and let's see if this works better now. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Here we go. This is much better. Keep it going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is great. This is great. I think we got this. Perfect. Differential lock is crucial in an environment like this one here. Wow. Yeah, I was doing a lot of burnouts before trying to get grip. Well, all right. We are good for now. For now is the keyword. Don't fly off, trailer. We need you. I need to get paid at the end of all this. I realize my shifting is horrible, but that's because that's because I'm kind of controlling the mouse and the shifter at the same time, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of work. I feel like in this instance, it really makes sense to to play in third-person view mode. It really does, because you can really see everything that much better, and I think for you guys as well. So you guys can really get a glimpse of how crazy everything looks out here. Oh no, what is this? What is this? And why is this here? So instead of like cutting through the mountain, they decided to build this thing? Let's keep going. Keep going. 
take this as wide as we can. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. Alright. Throw something hard at me. Please. This is too easy. Alright, we have an hour and 20 minutes left to go. We're gonna really fly up this mountain here. Because I've had enough. Look at this one here. I think eventually they're gonna build out the bridges here, pave the roads, and it's not gonna be as extreme as it is right now. As it stands today, this route is extremely dangerous. Wow, and we're climbing higher and higher. And this is honestly, let me know if you guys are still watching, still enjoying this. Make sure to drop a like on this video to let me know to do more episodes like this one here. Dude, there's boulders everywhere. Oh my gosh, bro, we're not done. Are not done yet. Look at how high we are. This is crazy. Wow. Oh my gosh. Turn, turn, turn. Come on. Let's continue going through here. The trailer is going to be just fine. Oh gosh. Hold up. I did not anticipate for this. Oh gosh. Can we make it up here? We are completely bottomed out. Alright, hold on. Uh, can I reverse out of here? And get some speed? I really, I, I chose the wrong line here. I feel like we're, like, completely off-roading here. And I think I need to go this way, just so we don't bottom out. And hopefully the trailer is gonna be fine. Well, we took some trailer damage, but it's fine. I'd rather do that than die. So the car goes fine, by the way. Alright, we're good. Wow. This has been the most stressful delivery I've ever done in American truck simulator. We are going a little too fast for the conditions. I think I'm getting better driving in third person. Which also helps. There we go. We're fine with the trailer. this. Good thing it's a little wide, but I just don't know. Maybe this will do the trick. Trailer, please bear with me. We'll be fine, little trailer. Just don't fly off. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, man. Alright, that worked out. That kind of worked out in our favor. 
Alright. And now it's easy peasy, alright? Lemon squeezy throughout the rest of the journey. I mean, I've said that before. I'm like a broken record. Nothing's ever easy over here. Wow. Yeah, if there was traffic on this road, like I told you guys, I did not turn off traffic. It's just there's nobody out here. And understandably so. But yeah, if we had traffic on here. Oh, there we go. There, there's civilization. If we had traffic out here, we would have been done. We would have been done. Oh my gosh. Well. There we have it. Uh, hopefully now it's all going to be easy peasy. Alright, let me see if I can take this left here. Maybe we do interior cabin view. Oh, here we go. Where did you come from? Thank you, sir. Alright. <laughs> that was very, very stressful. The road here is still a little narrow, but nothing compared to what we just went through. And wow, look at this. We are really flying. And it's getting late now. Oh, now, differential, I can disable it. I think typically you have to stop to disable it, the differential. Otherwise, you can blow it, I think. I'm not an expert. Um, but. This is a video game, I think we could just do it while driving. And it's not my truck, so what do I care, right? Are the lights on or off? What's going on? Alright. I think we're fine. We're pulling up on a location. Wait a second. We have to go this way? Okay. Whoa. I would not want a business up here with an entrance like that. That's a little too, too much for me. I'm hoping I'm going the right way. Pretty sure. Well, I mean, everything that we've been through, this has got to be the easiest part of the delivery. I just took a little more damage on the trailer somehow. Um, but yeah. At least we didn't die in today's video, guys. So, um, it's pretty, pretty impressive at that. Alright, let me see where they want this thing parked. I think they're gonna want me to back it into that shed right over there. We can do that. That should be easy. Whew. I can't believe we survived. I cannot believe that. I really thought that it was going to take me several takes to uh, do this delivery. Uh, but... Yeah, in the grand scheme of things, it's, uh, yeah, first try. Kind of impressive. Kind of impressive. There you go. Enjoy your trailer. Oh, man. If only that guy knew what we went through. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, you guys already know what to do. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see more extreme deliveries like this one here. I really enjoyed this one. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up right here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.